Hello darling, welcome to my vlog today. I haven't done a vlog in, I don't think since I've moved, so I wanted to do one for you today. Believe me, I've got some great content coming up tonight, Willa Ford. But I just wanted to talk a little bit. I'm not going to say I'm melancholy today, but I'm feeling a little... Well, first of all, I had a great date the other night with the older gentleman who I will nickname Daddy, and I hope you get that innuendo. Yes, he's a daddy. He, very James Gandolfini, Feeny. James Gandolfini um, from The Sopranos. He was very nice, treated me like gold, took me to an exquisite restaurant out in um, Colombia. I had a really lovely time, I mean. I was treated like a lady. But something has happened in that I've started getting the fuzzies, the other one, the one that's 35. And as much as I try and fight it, it just becomes more and more evident that something is happening and you know what it is and I don't want it to happen. The cool thing is, is that I'm, I'm more prepared than say if I was 28 or something. I'm in my 40s, I, I can handle it better. I mean, nothing really handles when that fuzzy, I mean, nothing really prepares you for that. And I, I, I fought it off. But it's, it's happening. It's happening. If you don't know what I mean, I don't know what to tell you because I'm not going to come out and say it. But it starts with an L and ends with not with a T, with the other one. Damn it. Not at this stage of the game. And in my heart, I really believe that he's more compatible with like the 26 year old me rather than the 40 something year old me because things that he wants to do for instance what a great day I had yesterday I woke up boom Willa Ford um, was threatening to sue me that he had posted a sex video of us on my Twitter and <clears throat> people for the ethical treatment of animals was lecturing me about wearing mink coats. So that was a fa it was fabulous. It was all about me. I can't be mad at him because he was just excited, you know, because we did we did, you know, do a little filming for us and he wanted to be cute and posted it on Twitter. But the thing is is that I have a lot of followers or a handful of followers from the Free Britney movement that I don't really want them to see that part of my I don't know, career or whatever. So that's why I got me. And also other YouTube creators, I don't want them seeing that. I own it. That you know, I've done that kind of thing. But I just I just don't want some seeing it. I'm kind of phasing that part out. Like my OnlyFans, I'm ending on December 31st. So come and get it while you can. No, you know. I just am really concentrating on YouTube. But I digress. So yes, you know, I can handle it better though than, than say if I was in my twenties. I'm I'm better equipped. I actually have things to do. Boy, it brings back, you know. Yeah, and this is a good one. This is this. Mm -hmm. <sighs> You'll be okay. You'll be okay. You know, you start thinking. Some, I, I kind of have accepted that in life. You know, I was married last summer, and I've kind of accepted it may just not happen for me, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. But I. I do want to ask you, is there anyone out there, do you know what it's like, do any of you know what it's like to go through life being unloved? And again, 
I'm not doing a poor me. When it's all said and done, I did it to myself because in my younger years, I chose men over friends and family. And I'm paying for it now. I'm alone. So you guys remember that. Men come and go. But if you have a friend, family, don't choose him. Or at least don't tell him you are choosing him. I don't have anyone who loves him. Now, don't get me wrong. I have people who admire me or whatever, and that's nice, who maybe are inspired by me or who like me, who like watching this or think I'm this, think I'm that. It's not love. It's not the same thing. I'm in love. When my mom died. One thing I don't do, I don't feel sorry for myself. I am no victim. I am no pity party. Let me tell you something. If you got family, hold on to it. If you got friend, hold on to it. Don't miss it when it ends. So I'll be back much later tonight. I, Tanya, will be sometime in the future because it's turning into a Tanya Harding spectacle. See you soon. Go out and get you some. Boop.